ಆಯುಬುವಾನ್ ಸಾರವತ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯನ್ನು ಹಾ ಪ್ರಣೀತ ಆಹಾರ ಪನೆಯನ್ ಬಿರನು ಲೋವ ಸುಪತಲ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಿಕೆಯನ್ ಬಿಹಿಕಲ ಇಂಡಿಯಾನು ಸಾಗರೆ ಮುತ್ತು ಅತೆಯದ ಓಬವ ಸಾದರಿಯನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಲಿಗನಿವು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶಾನ್ ಫುಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಸ್ಪೆಷೋ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ most popularly known as the pearl of the indian ocean the island is estimated to have been colonized by the balangura people about 34000 years ago virtually everyone who has ever reached its shores has considered that discovery a delightful surprise There are influences from every corner of the world from India, Portugal, Arabia, Britain and hundreds of ancient unknown empire. Lanka is also considered to be one of the world's largest tea exporter. home to roughly 91 species of mammals and the natural habitat of the region welcomes countless varieties of birds amphibians and fishes Lanka is world renowned not only due to its natural beauty but also thanks to the undying passion of its people. we have a connoisseur all the way from sri lanka who's going to give us some more information on this glamorous cuisine so we'd like to know from you tell us something about this grand cuisine of sri lanka what's it all about uh sri lankan cuisine when you talk about sri lankan cuisine i think uh, curry has come to your mind straight away it's mainly based on uh, rice uh, and curry we use a lot of spices and chili and uh, of course uh, it's, it's a land full of coconut trees so this is a big ಪ್ಲೆಂಟಿ 
uh, any village that you go to, uh, even in the middle of the country. Uh, they would uh, bring in the fish early in the morning hours, uh, back to the shores and uh, you know, the transport uh, uh, companies would take care of uh, delivering the fish to all parts of the country. And, uh, and also being a Buddhist country, uh, they don't eat uh, that much of uh, meat, uh, so they tend to eat uh, a lot more fish. Meat in the country. Uh, there is meat, I mean we do eat meat, but uh, it is not. And then, once again, another problem is that uh, it is not a very big country, so we don't have very big farms uh, to raise cattle or chicken or anything. And so uh, so uh, uh, fish obviously is much more popular than... Fish is more popular. Yes, definitely. Yes, all kinds of fish. And uh, tell us something about the staple diet of Sri Lanka. What do they eat? People tend to eat rice for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Oh. Uh, and of course now, trend is changing. People in the cities uh, are eating much more bread than uh, different types of food. But the uh, majority of Sri Lankans, I would uh, still say that uh, eat more rice than anything. Else. So what are the main the items that you find? In the if, you, if, you, if you take a typical lunch time, a meal, uh, it would be called rice and curry and it would have obviously the main dish would be the rice and then uh, either meat or fish uh, whatever your uh, uh, preferences are, it would be for beef or chicken or fish and then you would have about five or six different types of uh, vegetables uh, made. And once again you use a lot of chilies and coconut oil. Uh, it could be fried or, or as a curry. Okay. And I've also heard that sh the food in Sri Lanka, it's, it's considered to be quite spicy compared to its counterpart. What do you think is the reason behind that? I, I mean, I've spoken to a lot of people about it, but nobody could actually tell or you know, give you a, a single reason to that. But I, I think uh, Sri Lanka used to be uh, on the map of uh, the spice trade. Uh, people used to, you know, thousands of years ago, uh, you know, traders would travel from the Asia and the South Africa to Oman. Right. And Sri Lanka happened to be one of the countries that they would stop over. And uh, they used to buy uh, gems from Sri Lanka and they would trade with uh, the spices that they would have from other countries. And, uh, I, I, I would think that... That makes it more popular. Yes, I mean, that's how it all started. And then obviously we have kept on adding more chilies into it. And again, spice, again, spice. So as you may know that no meal is ever complete without the desserts. So tell us something about the Sri Lankan desserts. What's it all about? Uh, yes, the typical uh, I mean, Sri Lankan desserts, uh, I would call it uh, uh, cookies and Vatlapa. Uh, still very popular. Yes. That's what? more like the you know, cream caramel. Absolutely, yes. It's very, very similar to uh, cream caramel. And uh, it's still continuous being one of the most popular desserts. Sri Lanka. Really? So that's, that's really nice information on Sri Lankan cuisine. So we'd like to thank you, Mr. Nasika, so much for your time today. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. And now it's time to go into the kitchens of Chef Lanka and learn an authentic Sri Lankan recipe. What is that recipe all about? You need to find that out after this break only on Shan Foods Presents Sir. Shan Foods Presents Sir. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Shan Foods Presents Served with me, Rohan Manmala. And now it's time for our second segment, which is from the chef's kitchen. So let's go to the kitchens of Chef Lanka and find out what the chef is going to cook for us today. So right now we found the perfect person who's going to teach us this authentic Sri Lankan recipe. With me right now, I have Chef Jayanta. Welcome to our show, Chef. Hi, Rohan. So what are we going to learn today? So today we are going to learn authentic kottu roti. So let's find out the ingredients for kottu roti. What are we going to add? So for people who don't know about kottu roti, let me just quickly explain. Kottu roti is Sri Lankan parota which is broken into smaller parts. So let's move on to the first step for this uh, recipe. What are we, how are we going to start? First, we'll add a tablespoon of oil. In goes some ginger and garlic. Then it's time for one egg. And it's 
it's time to add some chopped vegetable. We'll add some onions. And some green chilies. And in goes the Kodamba roti. And we now add some authentic Sri Lankan chicken curry. And yes, it's as simple as it looks. Kutta roti is ready to be served. Sean Foods presents Serve. So now, like every other episode, we're going to introduce this stunning Sri Lankan cuisine to someone who has never experienced it. Our first guest for today is Sylvia Dequero. All the way from Philippines, Sylvia is the managing director of a popular website development and internet marketing company. She is highly passionate about technology and fashion. Our second guest for today is Philip Alexander Weidenbrook. With a passion for entrepreneurship, this young German national is all set to build a career in business development in the UAE. So we are right now in our lunch on our segment with our special guests for the day. With me, I have Philip and Sylvia. Welcome to Sir. Thank you. Thank you, you for guys? having me. It's yeah. a pleasure. And as they say in Sri Lanka, are you Bhavan? So we are here to try out this authentic Sri Lankan meal. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Very ready. ready. <laughs> and as we have, as you can see over here, we have the Sri Lankan starters served. And with me over here, I have the Sri Lankan patties. And that's the fish roti. Uh, fish roti, and unlike India, it's, it's roti, but this is roti. Okay. And it's like a, it's got this amazing fish uh, filling inside the So we'll start off with Philip and let's see what he thinks about the fish roti. What's your view? Very strong taste, um, a little bit spicy as well, but I like it. <laughs> so like in the Philippines, most of the times they don't really use a lot of spices in their food. Yeah. Is that true? Uh, some part, some part they love spicy. Well, on my uh, region, you are not particular in spicy so Philip and Sylvia love their starters and let's have a look what do we have in our main course, the Sri Lankan main course today. Will we have someone from the restaurant over here who's going to help us to make us understand this in a more better way. So let's call Jivanti. Jivanti, please tell us what exactly is this. Yeah, actually this is a Sri Lankan main dishes called, this is a hoppers. hoppers. The name is hoppers. This is made of rice flour. And uh, special there is a egg in the top, top also. This is uh, called egg hoppers. Egg hoppers. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yes. And this is uh, Sri Lankan kotu parota. This is made of uh, Sri Lankan roti. And this one we little pieces is mixed with the uh, vegetables. Sometimes we make it with chicken or beef or seafood. It's anything we can mix with this. And, and this uh, is if, nice. if, if our fans have just forgotten it, we just made it in the kitchen. Right? Yeah. And actually this is a prawn curry, Sri Lankan style. And wow. this is made of coconut milk and uh, curry leaves and Sri Lankan special spices into it. And uh, this is chili crab. This is uh, actually... Spicy. Yeah. I can the see Mostly Sri Lankan food are spicy. 
and this is made of uh, chili. Be- chilies, <laughs> actually chilies, and the bell pepper and the chili powder and the tomatoes and all everything together with egg also. Thank you so much, uh, Jivanti. Thank you so much. Thank this you. Lovely Thank you. meal over here. And now Sylvia and Philip are all set to try out this authentic Sri Lankan meal. And let's see what they think about this food. It's actually so interesting, this whole kotharoti. It's like you can make this as a snack and you can have it at breakfast. Any day. Any day, any time. Any time. It's like a Sri Lankan snack. Spicy breakfast. Spicy breakfast. <laughs> so we'd like to know from you, like the whole main course that we had right now, which one is your favorite? I like this brown one. The Sri Lankan brown one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I can manage uh, the spice. Yeah, spice. Yeah, yeah, I can handle it. So when it comes to Philippines also, I've, I've heard that you use a lot of coconut berries in your... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, yeah. We have a lot, we have a lot of uh, meals like that. So how about you? What is your take on this main course? chili crab. like it. It's very spicy. I'm a fan of spicy food. That's why I think it's very tasty. And I like the spiciness of this. Yeah. yeah. And how about people, people in Germany? Do they eat spicy food? No, no. Germany is not a country that, that, that our main dishes are not spicy at all. Uh, it's very rare that you see a German person that likes spicy food. But I like spicy food because I live in the UAE so long, that's why I really so enjoy spicy food. It's supposed to so many cultures and so many and different cuisines. So Sylvia and Philip have enjoyed their main course and now it's time to try out some authentic Sri Lankan sweet dish. So let me tell you something about this. This is called Watalapam. Okay. It's, it's more like, uh, as you can see, it's, it's made out of coconut milk and it's made out of uh, eggs and it's made out of some spices and this is your dessert for today. So now moving on to the, the food again, we'd love to know from Sylvia her final verdict on Sri Lankan cuisine. So Sylvia, tell us in the end the lovely food that you had today, what do you think about it? It's uh, spicy, but it tastes good. Tastes great. Yeah. So are you going to try Sri Lankan food again? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to dine in Sri Lanka again. That's lovely. What's your take on this? I definitely like it as well. I would recommend it to others. It's a very interesting taste. Very different from German cuisine. And uh, I think, um, especially because I like spicy food, I would definitely eat at the end because of the spiciness. Lovely, and you're going to try this amazing visit again? For sure. For sure. So Sylvia and Philip love their Sri Lankan food and we personally like to thank you both for coming on our show today. Thank you for you're having welcome. us. You're welcome. It was a pleasure and it was so much fun having you on board. Same here. So for all you people watching us on television right now, you stand a chance to win an exclusive meal voucher for Chef Lanka by answering this simple question. Which dessert was featured in today's Sri Lanka special episode? Was it A. Watalapam, B. Kheer, C. Coconut Burfi? SMS your name space answer to 6565. Fortunately for people like us, the food journey is never over. Join our social media networks to get more updates and more information on our show serve. So next week, we are going to be experiencing a brand new culinary flight, a brand new region and a brand new cuisine. So until then, this is your host Ruan Manmala saying goodbye and Ayubawan. <laughs>